Eyewitness News exclusive, and we are seeing what happened in the moments right before a gunman opened fire inside a restaurant in Manhattan. Began with an argument inside the eatery in Inwood in Upper Manhattan. It ended with one person dead and two others injured. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Bookman is live at the scene in Inwood with the very latest on the investigation. Sandra. Yeah, Liz, we are right outside the Floridita restaurant. It is still closed at this hour. Now, sources told us early on it was a fight inside the restaurant that triggered the gunfire. In the exclusive video you're about to see, it appears it was a fight really about nothing that had deadly consequences. Even louder than the elevated number one train, the sound of gunfire inside the Floridita restaurant around 5 this morning. Security camera video reportedly being circulated among restaurant regulars and obtained exclusively by Eyewitness News appears to show exactly what triggered the violence. Watch closely as the guy in the red jacket in the center of the screen appears to accidentally bump a man to his left as he passes him. That man in the dark shirt seems to reject the apology. As the two exchange words, the man in red punches the man in black who falls to the floor. And as a third man in a shearling jacket bends over him, a fourth man in blue fires the gun. Police say when the bullets stopped flying, a 28-year-old man was dead and two other people, a 58-year-old woman and a 29-year-old man, had been both shot in the leg. As the NYPD crime scene unit cataloged the scene, restaurant regulars shook their heads and wondered how a neighborhood hotspot became a crime scene. People are very warm and friendly, and especially overnight when you have like a little hangover, you can come here for a soup. But they, they're very friendly, they have security all the time, just find it very weird that this happened. Detectives spent the day going door to door looking for other security camera video that might help them find the shooter. The video from inside the restaurant yielded a vague description of the suspect police say they're looking for. A black man in his 30s, heavy set, and wearing a blue jacket. Back here live in Inwood at near 206th Street and um, 10th Avenue. Now, neighbors tell us that this restaurant is very popular. The food is good and it is open 24 hours a day. So it's really popular with people that are leaving nightclubs around here. They speculate whether or not alcohol uh, used by some of those club goers may have fueled this altercation that ended up being deadly. We're live tonight.